Listen, you shouldn't have to stretch your budget to buy jeans with a little give. High-end denim can cost hundreds of dollars, but bargain brands don't offer the same level of style and comfort. Yeah. You got you can't get some jeans that cost you hundreds of dollars and no. like have to do a juice cleanse to get into them. <laughs> totally. So distilled, spelled D S T L D, they've revolutionized the fashion industry with their timeless luxury grade denim. So you get jeans that would normally cost you hundreds starting at just sixty five bucks. Yeah. They eliminate these crazy markups because they refuse to work with middlemen. Refuse. They ship directly to you for free and guarantee the fit, or they'll send you a new pair until they're perfect. Distilled jeans are built to last and will be a staple in your closet for years. They also have a bunch of fall jackets so if you're like into a classic denim or you want like a bomber jacket you can just expect the same level of quality okay and so for a discount go to dstld.com slash feral and you'll get ten dollars off your first order that's dstl wait d.com slash feral for ten dollars off bye thanks bye ali let me ask you a question yeah fire away dude what fire away dude oh (laughs) yes or no finding the right hair color for you ally yeah can be a challenge uh what color is my hair right now burgundy yeah was that on purpose no did i need to use e-salon yes you did oh i fucked it up oh wait (laughs) you can scratch that that no it's great e-salon offers professional grade (laughs) leave that in (laughs) <laughs> completely personalized hair color that's created just for you and delivered right to your door. Allie, you fucking need this. I need it so much. This is the last time I will color my hair without taking the steps to get the right color. I grabbed a color off the shelf. It was the wrong color. My hair is maroon now. Don't do it. Allie, do you love questionnaires? Yes. Here's a hair questionnaire. Upload your photo and a personal colorist will formulate your individually blended color from over 15 thousand pigments oh my god i know i need e-salon in a time machine to go back to yesterday (laughs) totally well they've got you covered there's a hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed if you're not happy Allie. oh god i need with your color it will give you a free reformulation or refund i think anything's better than what i did to myself before you look cute thanks dude but you know what? I like that the color doesn't fade. Like they have the grays covered. Because we get, I get some grays every once in a while. I mean, at 23 years old, I our know. gray is like pretending to start to come in. I know. It's probably because we're such big thinkers. We're so young. So you can visit esalon.com slash slumber party, all one word. And do that. You get 50% off your first order. So that's 10 bucks for your personalized hair color, which is crazy because the last time I got my hair cut- colored in a salon, it was like $180. Dude, you can do it your freaking self. I've been doing it my freaking self for years and years. Yeah, I just, I really got the wrong color. So I need to use eSalon. You get 50% off your first box at eSalon.com slash slumber party. So go do that. Don't don't be an Allie Ward. Send us photos too. Hashtag it at, I don't know, Allie in Georgia. Let's see your hair. Yeah, just tag us in it on Instagram. Let's see your pictures. Let's do it. I want to look at your hair. Bye. Feral Audio. All right, my facts. Are we? Are we ever ready, Georgia? Allie. Are we um, ready? I don't think that's man, life, man, is getting ready for life. And then when you're ready, you die. Is this life? Probably not. Is it life? Do you think we're, do you think we exist today? Do you feel like you exist today? Because we've covered this before, but do you feel like right now you exist? Yeah. If I'm not thinking about it, I exist. If I start thinking about it, mm-hmm. nothing exists. Does it feel like when you go over a hump of a roller coaster and you start getting that, like, that whoosh feeling? That's the realest moment, I feel like. But does do you ever feel like that just in life? Like you start thinking about your existence and it feels like right over you go over a roller coaster and you're like, whoosh. Did that sigh tell you anything? A little bit. <laughs> yes. It's that like, oh, I'm scared, but this is fun. Yeah. Feeling. Like, I hope this doesn't end anytime soon. But I also hope that I stop feeling this whoosh. But the whoosh is fun. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But the like, you know, what's fun is like this, like, you know what I want? I don't want to be on a roller coaster. I want to be in one of those like those pools where people float around in a circle uh like tubing okay like a water park yeah like i want to be in the like oh lazy river 
Lazy river. I want to be in a tube, like on a fucking donut, like floaty thing. Right. Floating around a lazy river with friends and beer. It's during the day. It's beautiful out. Right. Donut times. Water's clean. No one's peed in it. You're going to need, you know, I would so much rather be in a river full of trout feces than human urines. Okay. But I just like the, yeah. Wouldn't you rather, okay, you could sit in a pool in an inner tube. Oh my God. No. Yeah. There's been a trout pooping in it. Or River. there's been your cousin's River. baby. River. Okay, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I just didn't even think about that. That like wasn't even an option in my life. I don't. I don't have. Do you pee at water parks? No. And here's the other thing: is like, wh- why am I stopping at a lazy river? Why can't I like ask for bigger things? I think a lazy river sounds pretty chill zone. Okay, I right. think that you you earn the lazy river with the big things. That's true. by the way, this is slumber party. Hi, this is slumber party with Ali and Georgia. <laughs> That's Ali. I'm Georgia. Hi. I'm in a river. Ali's in a river. I'm in a fucking. I'm at a water park. I'm really I, not at a water park because fuck water parks. Yeah, a water park does not sound like your jam. Ugh. A water park sounds like decidedly unhard Starkian. Ugh. An, yeah. An unhard Starkian proposition. Yeah. Loud lines. Children. I, there'd be way too much UV exposure, oh. but a lazy river, you're just tubing. Yeah. I've seen people hook like a six pack of cores off. Exactly. The, you know, over there. Or you get like a, a, like a tubing thing that doesn't have a bottom and you put ice in it. And so you can put all the beer in there. Boomsies. Like, Allie, there's some fucking wine coolers for you. I'll take that so hard. Yeah. That sounds like, I, I, I'd like anyone who has done this to hop on the Facebook group, Slumber Party Podcast. Let us know. Put up a picture of YouTubing. Of YouTubing. A on YouTube. YouTubing. <laughs> oh, oh God, we that? did it. Why isn't that a thing? We did it. Did you see? There's a there's a, a news article that came out today. Okay. About these fucking dicks. Is this what you learned this week? Okay. Here's what I learned this okay. week. Okay. <laughs> okay. There are these fucking assholes from Canada, which is like rare. That's hard. I've ne- you never hear no. that. We've established on this podcast the only assholes yeah. from Canada are the geese. Yeah. Because geese are... Yeah. Continue. So they, there are these like bros that are doing this, like, we're traveling around the country in our fucking bus that we turned into, we use French fry grease, you know? All right. And they went to, they're like extreme, they're doing extreme stuff. And they went to Yellowstone National Park. Oh no. Where they have the, pers- this, the, there's this prism lake that Ugh. because of the microbes and shit is like a rainbow lake and it's gorgeous and it's like a hot springs and it's like, very like you know god rare bless, god bless the microbes they take a video of the sign that says don't pass don't get off the boardwalk do not go into this like pristine fucking work of art i'm of nature. rolling my eyes so hard already. photos of them hanging out in it oh really and they take video and photos and now the, and then and then the park's like we're coming after you now they put their dirty canadian little tuchuses in yeah. our microbe lake and it's obnoxious because they're taking photos like like that would be on like Google, like uh, the Instagram Earth. Ever see that? Uh, no, but I'm gonna trust that if it's Earth based, it's delicious. They have these photos by professional photographers about the Earth that are like breathtaking, and they're taking those photos as if they like they're like accomplishing something with their little Winnipeg buttholes in our in our beautiful soups. Yeah. So fuck those guys. Are they from Winnipeg? I don't think so. What else? Either way, get out of our microbes. Should we shame them? Should I find out who they are and we should shame them? Probably, they right? They should be feeling shame enough. Then what are they going to do? They can't move to Canada to escape their own health. Right. You know what I mean? Well, they could go to Canada and then they're fine. That's true. Although I feel like Canada and LA probably, I mean, in Cal- I mean, where are we? And the United States probably have a pretty solid, um, like, a, what's the extradition agreement? Sure. Yeah. Get them back here. Yeah. But I think in Canada, they, they probably have so many beautiful rainbow microbes that they're just like, oh, another one of these. Yeah. They just they have a wealth and abundance of beautiful nature. OK, it's called the Grand Prismatic Spring, Ooh. which is like clearly you're not supposed to walk in that. And well, these jerks, these tourists are under fire, um, face federal charges. Three Canadian men. I just want to shame them real quick. I hope that they have, I hope for lawyers, they have Canadian geese because those are the only <laughs> other dicks in the country to get them off. Um, what did you learn while I look these assholes up? Um, you know, when you pop your ears, mm-hmm. how often do you do that? Not often, just when I get off a plane. Okay. I do it 15 times a day. What? I don't know. I keep, you know this? Yeah. You hold your nose and you, you know that? You blow. And then you blow out. You That's, do that all the time? I do it all the time. Is it because you enjoy it or because you have to do it? It just feels better when I do it. 
But okay. I, I've been doing it all the time for years. Okay, it has there? to mean something. Okay, they have a, a clothing brand and an adventure series, and they're called High on Life. Oh dear. So go to their YouTube and shame them. Are they four twenty friendly? They sound like Christians. High on oh. Life. Oh, come on. That can go. That can go Cypress Hill, or that can go Flanders. Sure. Do you know what I mean? I do. Which ones are they? I don't know. They're just sticks. <gasps> what if they're Canadian Christians? Yeah. So that has to be something wrong with your inner ear. I don't really know, but it's called, I, it has a name. Oh. It's called a Valsalva maneuver. That's interesting. I didn't know that, that, I never knew that there was a name for that. Wow. And it's when you clear out your, you have pressure on your eardrum in your esthetician tube. Mm-hmm. You know that word that means your inner ear tube that mm-hmm. looks like esthetician, but it's esthetician. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to say it. Don't correct me, you I guys. You figure it out. Figure yeah. out how to say it yourself. Anyway. You're, you're, are, you're popping that, you're equalizing the air pressure on either side of the eardrum, but I do it all the time. I think maybe... Have you always done it? I wonder if it's because you've been on so many planes. No, I've done it for like 10 years at oh, least. Weird. I think maybe I have a goblin in my head. Probably. I found out recently that, you know how when I pee, I have to, I can't just sit down and pee, but even if I have to pee, I have to make... Psh, psh, psh. Let's, let's rewind here. Okay. Cause you're saying this as though, I know, of course. Like, as soon as yeah. you're like, whenever I pee, you're, you're like, like ellipses. I know exactly what you're talking about. So I can't sit down and pee. I have to either make this noise that my mom would make when I was a kid, that that's supposed to be the sound of running water. Cause you're like, you know, when you're like about to go on a trip and you're like, can you just, or like, you're out, right. pee, Georgia, and then we'll go. So we can go. Right. So she'd go, psh, 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 and it just became this like Pavlovian thing that I can't pee unless I do that. Right. Also, counting back from five to one helps. Um, Interesting. I, that's a thing. People not being able to pee and like on, like naturally. Is, is it shy thing. bladder syndrome? It's not shy. It's just like hesitant bladder syndrome. It's just like you're too in your head. Oh, it's not a natural response anymore. So can it be overcome or you're just stuck for life or going? Pew, 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 pew. I think I'm stuck and I don't care that much, but oh, you know what my, f- my original fact was going to be what? Guess how many calories banging your head against a wall for an hour burns? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Ready? 69. 150. Really? Banging your head against a wall for an hour burns 150 calories. And this whole time I've been... Why do I sign up for Pilates? I don't even know. How did you find that out? I just Googled weird facts because <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. But then... I wonder... Okay, but does that... I wonder what you would burn just existing... It's pretty it's pretty good. And if you fidget in general, mm-hmm. you burn more calories than people who don't fidget. So like if right. you're like, Can you sit still? Like, no, I can't sit still because I'm because it's working fun. out. Bikini season. It's bikini season. All the time. Hugging someone for an hour burns seventy calories. Who that's hugs pretty good. for an hour? Asleep people. I think that's called sex at that point. Well, that's this um, that's the most that's slow you, bone. That's how you possible. do it. Right? Yeah, you just hug you hug until one of you gets pregnant. <laughs> And then you tell your mom and then she makes you go to boarding school. <laughs> Isn't that how it works? <laughs> oh, neither, this is not neither of our true stories. No, my God. My parents couldn't afford boarding school. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> if I could afford boarding school, I wouldn't have ever gotten knocked up. I never did get knocked up. But do you ever feel like in the doctor when they're like, and how many times have you been pregnant? Yeah. Are you ever like, ding, 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 ding. When they're like, when the, I get a mark off, like how many times I've been pregnant? Zero. How many STDs have you had? Zero. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. actually, I'm like more proud of myself than I should be. hundred uh, 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 percent. Uh. Wouldn't it be great if they just took out some gold foil stars and put them all over your medical records? Yeah. I'm like, way to go. I remember being at like a, a, like a particularly fucked up Planned Parenthood getting pills once. Right. And the woman who ended up seeing me looked at that and she was like, huh, like, don't get like, I don't think they got a lot of zero pregnancy Aww. zero children zero you know what i'm saying that's like golf that's like low lower the better right. i guess i once uh i once had a doctor make me take an aids test because i bloated after i ate broccoli oh that's a chill doctor she wasn't very good <laughs> i was like i'm experiencing a lot of bloating and fatigue that's nope, got nothing to do with your <laughs> microbes in your stomach you probably have <laughs> hiv positivity let's check you for aids and that's I, my first just said, wow, oh, God, I keep burping. I just probably, probably you, HIV positive. You probably have a systemic infection that p- could possibly that be fatal if gone on the rest of your life. Right. Good luck with that. Um, your cat's oh my rubbing her whole face on my bed. Yes. Um, what else did you learn this week? Let's talk about what I learned about your podcast. 
number one this is on my podcast. charts. This is your your Georgia's My Favorite Murder podcast on Feral Audio with Carol Kagarif. Number one in the comedy charts today. I don't, number one. I don't know on the iTunes comedy. I don't know right. what number one is happening. It's like a dream come true. I feel like I'm going to barf when I think about it. Why? Because it's, fu- it's like I keep waiting for someone to be like, oh no, that's just because you've been downloading it from your phone. So it's on your chart. That's not everyone's. You know what I mean? Like something. Nope. 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 It's like I'm tubing and then I'm like, no, no, no. Everyone's peed in this pool. That still would be warm. And, true. and it would be, still be tubing. You'd still be tubing. I'm. It's pretty surreal. It's really nice to be. I feel like I'm beating a bunch of dudes at their game. But it's a huge deal, though. Thank you. High five. Thank you. Mm. Um. What else do you what else do you love? I had these. OK. Or what else did you learn? Or anything else. what did you learn? You learned nothing else. Um, Where's my? Oh. What did you learn? Oh, let's see. Oh, we should talk about what's happening on Monday. Oh, Tuesday, 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 the twenty fourth, twenty eighth. I think we might both be wrong. <laughs> 20, <laughs> no, t- the twenty fourth. Okay, Tuesday, the twenty fourth of May. Oh, it's a big day. You will be able to use your eyeballs oh. to see us talking shit about dick. Shit about. Dicks. We're going to be talking about shitting and dicking. <laughs> We're actually not. We don't swear too much in the no. first couple. But we, um, on fullscreen.com, you can go to the site or you can get the app. And it's a platform where you can watch all kinds of cool stuff. I went down a full screen hole last night and was watching Just a bunch of good. shit. It's like, it's a, you guys, it's a lot of people who are a lot younger than us, millennial types, We're making like, video podcasts. Not a lot younger. We're the older sisters. That's a 17 year old on that. We're Shit. somewhere between the older sister and like the stepmom that like t- makes you a little bit less sad that your mom died. <laughs> no, oh. is that a bad branding decision? No, that's okay. pretty spot on. All right, like you we know. just got to tell it like it is. Right. Uh, well, so they gave us a they gave us a, a platform to have a slumber party mm-hmm. as a video podcast. Video podcast we built a like you know we're always talking about being in a teepee or being in a pillow fort and wearing pajamas Mm -hmm. we're never lying and you get to see that for your own eyeballs now your own eyeballs you get to see which one of who's who when we're talking you get to see uh, our guest come in through a flap in the back of the pillow fort in pajamas it's so good our first guest is the darling tracy stump god i love her and we're not i'm not we're not shilling this as like this isn't like like uh what's it called um on the tv when they have it when they're like you gotta check out this infomercial yep um we're not doing that we're like super excited about it and full screen for the first month is month is free yeah so we're not like making any money off you doing this right and it's cheap it's like four bucks it's like 4.99 a month after so but i i went down a deep hole and was watching some funny funny shit on it what'd you like um there was this one a series on full screen called that couple you know <laughs> and it's just a terrible oh, couple that couple you know that's like oh they're so awful and I it's love so it. good and i, I watched it. i it was like 1 45 in the morning i was like i'm just gonna i'm just poking around i was like what's this and then i, I watched like seven episodes that's in a such row. a great name that couple you know because it's it says everything i know it's so good we all know that couple. so i enjoyed that and uh there's a lot of great stuff on it anyway so after the 24th of May, 2016, you guys, Slumber Party, it is a video thing. You can watch it. You'll still be able to listen here and we're still, we're still going to be here. So it's not like a feral audio. So it's not like, that's like a dollar an episode for full screen. I mean, for people, if they only watch ours, right. they're paying about a buck 25 an episode to yeah. see us because we're going to be coming out weekly. Yeah. I think of all the advice you get for a dollar 25. Yeah. A like, lot of bad advice. A lot of, we should be your- paying them for. What's your what's the best ad, what's the best advice you've gotten recently? Recently? Yeah. Um, best advice. Shut up. No. Oh. What's yours? Was it did a cop say that? <laughs> I told you to shut My up. My lawyer. Like, <laughs> shut up. Plead the fifth. Um I had the right to remain silent was really helpful advice. I think you said something to me like recently that I always say is well, why not us too? Oh, I gave you back your bigger dummies speech. Right. I forget what it was about. Oh, we were writing. We were both had writing jobs that we were right. freaked out about. Right. And then you and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And you texted back my grandma's quote, which is bigger dummies than you. Right. I took the advice your grandma gave to you that you gave to me and then I give it back to you. You reminded me of 
my grandma's own good advice. Right, right. So that's a pretty good recycling. I like it. It's kind of like uh, the recycle, like a water fountain that just keeps recycling the same water. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. Just sometimes, like, here you go and again. it just smells like pennies. Here you go. Sometimes again. you have to, um, you have to be reminded of your own conviction. Sure. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can bolster one's conviction by reminding. I mean, I guess uh, that's a whole. I think that's a whole philosophical discussion. But sure, it is. You you just you need to be reminded, like, why the hell not? You know what? You know what's good advice that uh, that always it seems to help me is the that notion of impermanence of like everything changing. Like, let's get back to tubing. Because we have a serious t- tubing metaphor here. Mm-hmm. But like, let's say you're looking at a river, right? Looking at a river. You walk away. You come back ten minutes later. That river's still there, right? It's all different water, but it's still a river. Ooh, yeah. And life is life is kind of a river. It's always changing. You can count on it being life, but you can count on it never being the same from second to second. Mm-hmm. So if you're ever bummed about something or if you're ever unsure of something or if the consequences of something seem too dire with the you know exception of committing violent felonies. Right. Um, you know, everything changes all the time. That's Impermanence is a constant. Because when you're in like a crisis or like a depression or something that seems like the fucking, it can seem like th- that's it and that's the end of the world and there's no talking yourself out of feeling that awful. Right, right. Like if you're in a bad relationship or someone's making fun of you online or you're in a fight with someone. Ew. I know. Who makes fun of people online? Who are those people? I, I mean, get it together. I you don't guys know. Are, if, there, if you're out there and you're a troll and you know it, don't be a troll. I wonder why people are troll. Like, does it make them feel better about themselves? I think it's just self-hatred. Mm. I think it's just uh, aggression turned, uh, inward aggression turned outward. Yeah. Because the inward is too hard to handle, maybe? The inward is... self-hatred? Yeah. I don't think you, there's a bunch of people that hate themselves that are like, or that love themselves or like, I'm the best. You're bad. Though. Yeah. If you really, truly are confident and like yourself, then right. it doesn't need to be at the something of other people. Expense. Yes. Right. Right. I think that that is true. Look so at us. Just knock it off. Dick holes. We're your big sister stepmoms. I know. <laughs> sorry about sorry about your real mom, but we will honor her memory. Every Mother's Day, we will plant oh, a flower no. for her. Sure. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I feel, I'm sorry <laughs> for anyone that's, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? What's one thing you hate? Um, one thing I hate a bunch. I jotted it down. Okay. Me too. I jotted it down electronically on my phone. I'll tell you one thing I hate so much. You know what? iPhones, I don't need a six digit passcode. I'm not, I'm not Snowden. They do six now? Six is too many numbers. Six is, ri- six ha- is ridiculous. The worst part. I have the option to change it to four mm-hmm. or zero. And instead of pressing the two buttons, it would take me to do that. I have just put in a six digit passcode for months. What is it? So everyone else. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, you almost said it. I've already said 69 so many times in this podcast. It's just 69, 69, 69. What? I bet um, so many people have that. 69, actually, 69. if you do try to put 69 in your passcode, they'll be like, that's a pretty common one. Are you sure? Oh, really? Because my parents, one of my passcodes is, had, does have a 69 because my parents were married in 69. Oh, and I think I everyone like, has their birthday too. I think a lot of people just have like three, 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 three. three. Tell us your passcodes, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So one thing I hate, six digit, stop it with the uh, iPhone. You yeah. got my, you have my thumbprint. Yeah. The thumbprint is like, what else do you want? Wow. A drop of blood every time I want to eventually look at my snaps. Eventually, it's going to be a drop of blood. Ugh. Um, I also hate um, not wearing sunglasses. Oh. If I walk out of the house and I have sunglasses, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ruined your day. If I get in my car and I'm like a block away and I'm like, oh, that I'm just like, it's. A, I would almost rather spend 10 minutes buying sunglasses from yeah. a gas station than have to go back to my home to pick up my sunglasses. The bummer is, did you do this where like, I'll put sunglasses that like I get for free at a thing in like the side of my, you know, in my car because I'll forget them. And then like, they're the worst sunglasses. Like they're, why is everything brown? I don't know, but it's better than being blind. Why is it sepia tone? Why is my life sepia tone now? Because it's oldie timey. What if you could put on sepia glasses and then <laughs> everyone was like, ba-da, ba-da, ba da That'd be pretty. If everyone talked like that when I put yeah. glasses, that would be pretty amazing. Yeah, and they were racist. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? And we weren't. A women couldn't vote. 
<laughs> Does that mean colorblind? You would just be sepia blind. Um, you know, I'll go back for my sunglasses more than I'd go back for my Invisalign trays, which I forget all the time, which are like changing my me physically. Isn't it weird that you have a skull changer in your face? It's so weird. You're just like, oh, this is just the thing that changes my skull. It's like moving. How's it going? Tell people what tray number you're on. You're on 13 of 37, right? <laughs> is that uh-huh. accurate? Yep. Gosh, I know too much about you. <laughs> <laughs> that's so it's like up. has anyone else done Invisalign it's pretty it's pretty fun it's pretty exciting mm-hmm. get it now I want to do it yeah I have you do all the tests for things I, I have know. you try Botox and then I'm like how's it look is your face paralyzed just paralyzed enough I was like it looks I'll do it I look like I did a couple of years ago and the, the other day we're like you look better than you did a couple of years ago you do you look more refreshed thank you it's going away I have another appointment you look more refreshed than I have than since I've ever known you thank you which is, I hope that I hope that when I said you look better, I I hope you took oh, that as a compliment. Yeah, I mean it's me now, so okay. who cares? Right. I was I went back in time to you a couple of years ago, and it's like you're gonna look so hot, oh my much God. hotter. I don't. It's great. No, your skin looks fantastic. Thank you. I'm I'm still afraid of it. Why? Mm. I'm afraid of it the same way that I'm afraid of doing street drugs. Mm. I'm afraid it's gonna be too good, and then I'm gonna not know when to slow my roll. When have you ever done that though? Like, don't you remember I had a yerba mate phase yeah but we're good like, at regulating ourselves in a way that's like I don't think we could become drug addicts because we're too aware of like everything we do I know but I'm just afraid of I'm afraid of like duck lipping too hard or do you know what I mean I'll I'm, let you know I'm also gonna I want to try to make it to 40 with my body intact I did look and at my photos stole. and I was like I went a little too hard really yeah a little bit my cheeks look a little too cheeky well then what do you when it comes to those things like I don't know. No one tells you your bangs were awful until after they've grown out. Yeah. Probably. I hope people, I hope my friends know that like, if I'm like, how is this thing? I don't want them to lie. Just don't sugar- be a dick about it. But don't lie. That's fine. It's my neighbors. I got, there's, your neighbors started coming up the stairs and then there's also a burglary alarm. Or, no, that's for a, something. That's actually an ice cream cart. Being that's an finished. ice cream cart. Someone's burgling an ice cream cart. Should we go out there? We could. That's a do a little ice cream cart outside. If you could eat anything right now, what would it? If you could Ugh. eat any ice cream right now, what would it be? Any ice cream in the world right now? Oh, mm-hmm. I almost rolled over here with a Talenti container full of coffee, and I forgot. Hell yeah. I would any ice cream right now. There is on the island of Hawaii. Was that obnoxious enough? <laughs> no, I love okay. it. Um, we went to Hawaii on your birthday last year. It was my birthday, birthday. and we had this ube purple. Oh, yeah yam ice cream that was so fluffy oh do you remember that was it via gelato in what's ube again Waikiki. tell everyone yam it's a purple potato or oh so recently on the facebook group uh-huh. someone posted a th- new flavor of like limited edition ice cream i think it's haagen and it's <gasps> like sesame brittle Oh, I'm into it. Stop it. Oh. Ses- those sesame like crunchy candies you got. Ugh, tahini all over Ugh. my face. And if it's if the if the if the ice cream was honey ice cream, honey flavored with ice tif- cream. Tahini brittle with fucking oh sesame brittle, I would lose my Let's god. Let's get diabetes mind. together. Hell yeah. I have too much insulin going on in the right ways. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to. Are you trying not to get diabetes? I'm trying. How how close to diabetes are you? No, I mean I'm just trying at everything. I'm just oh, you're trying. trying. Right. Just life is about the struggle. <laughs> That's what I remind myself a lot, actually, is like I get so stressed out and I'm like this and that. Right. And I'm like, everyone is just trying. No matter what you're doing, even if like you're going along and you're not even searching for anything. Right. Everyone's just trying. Right. Do you find that this podcast is harder to do sometimes because it's more personal as opposed to the murder podcast? Oh. Or do you think they're on par? No, I think this is harder because you have to be you have to crack open your soul and be like, yeah, Here's what's happening. Inside. And then as you're saying, you're like, how stupid am I? Like, how stupid do I sound? And this is like not helping. I get more I get more self-conscious about this not being interesting to anyone. Really? But me, I feel I believe in people's free will to turn our, our mouth is us off. Then they don't. It's weird. I, mean, I don't know. That's their, my, that's their problem. Though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I feel really bad about almost everything in life, but I do feel like if you're actively listening to our our wonderful i almost said stupid but i stopped myself our wonderful conversation on a subway or something that's your problem (laughs) 
Listen, where are your problems? If you're on the subway right now, feel under your seat and tell us if there's gum. That's oh, the first there's thing I thought always of. gum. There's always gum. And don't even, don't you don't want to think about how many boogers people wipe on Ew, subways. Uh, oh, trust me. Boogers. Oh my God. I got a table once used. Don't, nope. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 one no. of, I think about it every couple of weeks, no. it pops in my head. I b- took the table up to my apartment, no, 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 no. turned it over and was like, nope. bye. I know exactly what those are. Do you, you know what, this is one of the oh. many reasons I hate when bars don't have, um, purse hooks at the bar for women okay because because then you just made me feel under the bar mm. and everything is gross and sticky and weird and you don't have hooks it's booger palooza under there i don't i'm getting I don't, i'm so physically nauseous i right never now. knew i was so grossed out by boogers yeah it's one of the grossest things ever <laughs> other people's boogers i like shit doesn't phase me if you were like look at this look at this booger smear or look at this okay we got to stop after this <laughs> have you ever <laughs> we gotta stop yeah. we gotta stop i bet we some people stop. this is we're like we stop, stop listening if you want triggering this is triggering. Some people are like okay this is triggering but think of just take an inventory of gross things and i think you're gonna find that that's tops anyway let's talk about let's talk about something else okay here's something i love okay the new peewee movie Oh, is it good? I just watched it over the weekend. This is another thing I love, watching movies with my six-year-old nephew, <gasps> especially ones that he's never seen before. Which is all of them, because he's six. Because he's six. But there's right. some I'm like, you, your parents, let, my brother, let you watch that? Yeah. Um, Exorcist and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> just porkies. Yeah. They're like, what? what? No. Um, we watched Pee-wee's, what's it called? Big Holiday together. Okay. Maybe it's because I was watching with him because some people said they don't like it, but I thought it was so good. And it's just, it was like any Pee Wee movie, except he looks like a little Botox. But like, other okay. than that, it's charming. I'd like to, I'd like to get that into my eyeballs. I liked it a lot. There's ne- a place. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Is it just one movie? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not a series. Mm-mm. Got it. There's, um, in Big Top Pee Wee, you know how they were in those covered Vardo mm-hmm. wagons? You can stay in one of those. <gasps> I know you know this, mm-hmm. but it, this place called Hicksville, you can stay in the Vardo. Specifically the one from Pee-wee's Big Top? I forgot about that. one that was in Big Top Pee-wee. I stayed in it once by myself. That's amazing. I just did a little a soul searching, did some writing. I uh, I realized that I forgot to bring dinner. And then I <laughs> ate dinner from, I think from a vending machine. I think I had some string cheese for dinner. Oh, that's But I was sucks. like, oh, I... I did that wrong. I'm now in the middle of nowhere with. Well, food. you gotta like, yeah. There's only so much you personally can remember. You're like, I've got. Do I have this? Do I have? You know. Yeah, right now I can't do that. When's your next vacay? Well, we're going to a wedding. We are going. Can I stay in your house? Yeah, but you okay. told Micah that he could stay in it. I did, and he's staying in it now. Oh, I said. Micah said he. Our friend Micah said he didn't know where he's staying, and I was like, talk to Georgia. She got a house. I don't well, know what. The I'm deal sure is. there's a, another bed. Is and that bad? Also, no, and guess because okay. I think it'd be more less. I think it'd be more awkward if Vince and I and my friend Micah, our friend Micah, who's like right. more my friend than Vince's friend, stayed with us as opposed to you and my, you know, other people. Okay. Do you want us to neither of us stay there? No, I want you both to, especially because there's a jacuzzi. Oh, hey. Okay. Micah introduced us for people who don't know. Yeah. Of the band Giant Drag, introduced us years ago. Um. Yeah, no, no, no. Stay there. I don't. Okay. What are we gonna? It's it's a fucking wedding. We're not gonna. I don't know. Maybe you guys. Maybe you guys are gonna have a fuck party. One on one fuck party. <laughs> We're. It, you're still in your honeymoon we phase. Can still have a fuck party. At Vince and I. Right. In a, in the other room, but we won't. Okay. I mean, do what you got. It's do what you gotta do. I you're know. in a honeymoon period. How is your honeymoon period of your marriage? That's it's fucking nice. nice. They call it a honeymoon period because it's the best. I really hope it doesn't stop. It's like I don't think it's gonna stop. You guys have been together for years already. It's so. Lovely. We're about to be together for three years. Ooh, what are you going to do for your anniversary? Well, it's the weekend of Kathy's wedding. Mm. But maybe we'll just go. No, maybe it's the weekend before. Why don't you ask her if you can renew your vows in front of everyone? <laughs> Again, it's can I borrow your, take your dress off? Let me borrow your dress. What's the problem? Um, but we do have, I think, so we, I got these uh, two nights at the Magic Castle Hotel. Oh. Which gets you into the Magic Castle and shit. So I'm kind of like, we should just do that. Wear a suit. Dude. Guess what else? What? They gave you free snacks. Why not just There's live like there? Free vending machine snacks. Like where? In your room? Like they have like a, at the pool, you can go up and like, can I get a cheese its and a Reese's the, Pieces? First thing I was going to say is like, cheese it party is on. Dude. How You're fucking, like, there's a thousand roving illusionists and everyone's in black tie, but what's most exciting 
Just some fucking Keebler elves. <laughs> and there's a crackers. pool. You know, I love sitting by a pool in the sun. We might not even spend the night because it's down the street from our house. We might just fucking go pool. Awesome. Fuck party in the hotel room. Yeah. Magic castle. <laughs> snacks. <laughs> home to feed the cats is that what vacations are now called fuck parties fuck parties <laughs> yo that's what this episode's gotta be called or is that bad <laughs> a, a youtubing fuck party a youtubing fuck party right that works i, I mean that's kind of what a vacay should be yeah get out of the house wait what was what about um what was the word i used for uh the yellowstone with the color variations uh, uh microbes no, no 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 the pre prismatic prismatic fuck party right it's a prismatic fuck party. Go have one with your SO. <laughs> I think that this part of the charm of this podcast is figuring out where the, like finding where the title comes from. Right. Right. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Prismatic fuck party. Right. That's a good one. It's Just, a good one. I, you don't want a Canadian to dip his little silly willy in there though. What's your next vacation? I'm not in town ever. I'm gone from now until October. <laughs> You're going home to your parents. <laughs> I'm going home to my parents. Um, for a that doesn't sound relaxing well is it okay uh for a little family reunion cute and i you were supposed to have a birthday party on june 4th and now i might miss that we got to reschedule that i don't want to have it when you're gone figure that out especially because we're going to be if i'm planning on using the metal detector detector that you gave me oh my god i'm not gonna have it without you there palms are sweating just thinking about it i know my armpits are sweating because it's hot it is a little hot it's gonna be so exciting what if you use the metal detector and you find a lot of money Great. If you haven't heard me crying over this gift, the episode that Vince is in, what is it like pre pre wedding with Vince or something? Yeah. A couple episodes back, Ali gives me a metal detector on the podcast and I start crying. I'm just so excited to to see if you like it. And then if you don't like it, then at least you'll know. Oh, I mean, love it. Are you kidding it's me? It's going to be exciting. I love it. Um, I go up to see my parents. A little update, flash flood of sadness. People who listen to that, my dad's doing well. Hey. He still has multiple myeloma. It's been three years, but he res- is responding well to his treatments. And that's good. And that's exciting. Uh, my nephew is really, really sick Everyone's- with Lyme disease. He's doing a lot better. So we're going to all hang out for the first time in years because everyone's always been in various different hospital settings. <laughs> and so now we're going to, so it's not going to be stressful at all. Don't, <laughs> don't break any limbs because that would be, if everyone just has to go to the hospital, knock on wood. The funny thing is, is like my family's dealt with so much illness that if I just had a broken femur, yeah. there would be like nothing. Get it together. Alex. Literally get your femur back together. I'm like, it's not bone cancer. So huh? just shut your face. It's going to be fun. And then, um. Oh, we should tell people also that we're on uh, a Food Network show coming up soon called Food's Greatest Hits, and yeah. that premieres when? July or something? Probably. It's on Food Network, yeah. and Full Screen is premiering. Yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. I'm doing a Science Channel yeah. show also. Innovation Nation, and your um, pilot. I have another Science Channel show, which premieres in June. Which one? It's called How to Build Everything. Oh, nice. And I talk about some science shit in it, and nice. I'm... I, I don't know. I haven't even seen any episodes, but I filmed 13 of them. So wow. we will see what they look like. That's no exciting. idea. And that premieres in June. So it's been a busy year, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's good. It's great. It's good. We both need a fuck party, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> All of my vacations are always going to either weddings or seeing family. I need like a straight up not answering email. My last vacation was in a third world country and I got very sick. Yeah, and sunburned. <laughs> and there were rats in my hut. Oh, I didn't do that right. Um, I didn't do it right. <laughs> Should we end with one thing we love? Yeah, let's do one thing we love. My. Oh, thank you. I dropped my thing. Let's see here. What's one thing you love, Allie? Um, oh, I hate thank you cards, too. Oh, let's talk about it real quick. Real quick. Uh, my mom told, well, I, I had to write them for my wedding. And then my mom said to me, yeah, when you had your bat mitzvah, it was like pulling teeth to get you right. Thank you cards. Really? And I broke down crying and ended up not writing them. You I, mean it for your bat mitzvah? Yeah. I like Aww. really hate thank you cards. Why? What is it about it? What I don't is, know. They make break me, it down. They, I don't want it. They make me uncomfortable. And is it because it's too, because it's schmaltzy or because is it too much schmaltz? Let's talk about it. I don't want to. I can't even talk about it. Interesting. This is an interesting reaction. Oh, it's just gross. And it's like never Wait. enough. Is it enough? Did I write the word amazing too many times in the thank you card? Did I thank the person enough? Or they shit, did I write it soon enough? Okay. 
You have performance anxiety when is, it comes to gratitude. Is it going to get there? I didn't put any return addresses on it because it was a small postcard. Like, what if it doesn't get there and then someone hates me because they didn't get it, but really just didn't make it there? Right. Because the stamp fell off. Did I write their address wrong? Right. Did I send them all? So you, so this is more of a discomfort about potential disappointment. Yeah. Okay. So it's an anxiety about not, not doing the right thing. Okay. Right? Sure. That's a good, that's a, have you ever sent a thank you card and had to like return to sender? Well, I didn't put any thank you. I mean, it return addresses on it. Well, so no, no. just slap a return address label on it. You won't have to worry about nothing. Yeah. That was a double negative, but you know what I meant. <laughs> you sent me a lovely thank you card the other I'm day. I'm glad you got, I'm glad it came to you and you, and it was okay and significant and sufficient. Right. It had the word amazing in it a couple too I many fucking, times. No. <laughs> So I kind of uh, want my present back if uh, that's okay. I have that with gift giving anxiety. Uh, I have major gift giving anxiety. I'm so afraid someone's going to be like, "Hmm, that's funny. My life is worse now that I own this piece of garbage you gave yeah. me." I'm like so worried it's not enough. I'm worried it's too much. I am like I'm the worst with gifts because I'm just like I overthink it. And I'm like, no I one just, loves a gift though. I don't know. I mean, some people don't like clutter. Some people are like, "What am I going to do with this?" Or like, this isn't me. Who do you think I am? Yeah. You know what I mean? This Steven, are you that way? Stressful. This is why. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, buying gifts for people is incredibly stressful. Right? Dude, this is why. What? Scratchers. 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 Yep. However much money you were going to spend and spend. Yep. Scratchers. Lottery tickets, you guys. Lottery tickets. That's George's MO and it's choice. She's like, here's yeah. a birthday card. I got you 10 scratchers. Not only do you have an activity for the next 10 minutes, I potentially gave you $50 million. Yep. You're fucking welcome. Yep. And if you don't get $50 million, that's your own problem. Yep. You scratched it wrong. Yep. <laughs> Can you imagine if the birthday card just said that? Yep. <laughs> Can we get that dictated, please? Just gambling. Can we get that on? We should get that printed on the front of a card. Right. Yeah. If you scratch this wrong, it's your own fault. Yeah. Love me. Um, did we do love? I, I don't know if we did love. Um, oh, I don't think I did love. Um, I have a guilty pleasure love. Okay. That I'm like, I have trouble looking myself in the face about is flip flops. You love them? I, they're so liberating. Ugh, your feet get so dirty. I don't care though. Sometimes I'm just like, I feel like I'm free balling. Okay. It's like not, it's like the same level of of liberation and grossness as no underpants. Ew. Do you know what I mean? Things. Yeah. Both the things are like, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of what I would do. Wait, in a skirt or in pants? Oh, in a skirt is just Paris Hilton 2006. Okay. You can't do but that. Pa oh. I think That's I'd rather do flip flops than no underwear. Yeah, I'm a, I'm like a daily underwear person. Oh, effectively. But every once in a while, like with flip flops, you're like, I'm, per I'm for all intents and purposes barefoot right now. And sometimes... I'll wear underwear on my feet. Does that happen? <laughs> no. What if you swaddled your feet in just little diapers? Yeah. I just don't understand how underwears, underwears work. How do, where do, what part of my body do I staple it to? That was my mouth. Um, cool. Well, I love that I inherited my grandmother's beautiful old scrapbook with every single greeting card she ever received from like the 50s and 60s in there. Any good thank weird. you notes? Yes. Great. Thank you. Now it's, there's some funny 